Capacitors Small electronic components that store energy. Conceptually, they are similar to batteries. They can store as much energy, but they can discharge themselves much faster, and that makes them very useful. They don't use chemical reactions like most batteries, instead they store the energy in an electric field. On the simulation you can see how a capacitor charges and discharges. To measure their capacitance, we use the farad unit. Capacitors can be dangerous if handled incorrectly. They can easily explode if the voltage applied to them is greater than their rating. Before working with capacitors, it is important to make sure they are discharged, especially if you are working with high voltage. You can check the charge level of a capacitor using a multimeter. Capacitors have many use cases. They can be used for energy storage, power conditioning, noise filtering, remote sensing, signal coupling, decoupling, and building alarm clocks. There are two main types of capacitors, polarized and non-polarized. In general, polarized ones are either called electrolytic or supercapacitors. Non-polarized ones are usually either ceramic or film. Here are their schematic symbols. Capacitors are very easy and cheap to build. However, if you are not an electronics specialist, please don't build powerful capacitors at home. You just need a small stick, two metal caps, metal foil and some paper. This has been Capacitors in 100 seconds. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more content on this channel. See you in the next one, bye.